Hi guys, welcome to Simproof, Price Begin here, and this time I'm going to show you how I have built this cool bohemian family house, villa, something. It is very very colorful and I absolutely love building this one. It is not furnished because I've built it for a collab with the lovely and absolutely amazing Spring Sims. He was actually one of my first collabors, actually I guess even my first collabor ever. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I was really, really lucky that I got to know him and we are really good friends now. And if you don't know him, you really should check out his channel. He's amazing. I love to watch his videos. He has super cool Let's Plays on it and he does a lot of these really cool build videos right now. And he has something called the Bohemian Week, where he is trying to do a build like for every day of the week. And they are all Bohemian inspired with the new movie hangout pack we got this January. He just thought he could make lots and lots of speed builds, room builds, whatever you like, and use a lot of these new Bohemian hippie looking stuff there. And yeah, we have done a lot of other collaborations already and this time I'm doing one again because he is yeah, basically my first fan ever and my first YouTube friend ever so he has a very special place in my heart and of course for my YouTube channel so of course I'm always doing and love doing collabs with him and it is always so much fun so you really should check out his channel it's amazing I will put everything you need to know in the video description so his channel link Twitter and everything you need to know and of course to the other furnishing video because yeah Steven is going to furnish this house and I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do at first. I was just thinking, okay, something bohemian, so I haven't done a normal family home with more than just one bedroom for a long time now, so that's what I wanted to do. So yeah, at first I just started drawing like the layout basically, and then I added like a cool veranda all around it. I just thought it would be cool because hippies are usually very nature loving people I would say and hence I wanted to make like a really big veranda so they can you know sit there and drink their morning coffee and do some yoga for example. I just thought it would be really really cool also it I think it will be look very nice if you put like lots and lots of plants there. As always I'm going to clutter it up a lot plants again I'm sorry but you know I love my landscaping and I did some really messy nice looking landscaping here and it was so much fun so first I wanted to go with the blue color or bluish color and wanted to call it like the bohemian blue or something but then in the end I just thought this blue wallpaper that we got looks a little bit as if like the texture is missing or somehow it looks like a really weird blue it doesn't have any pattern on it or any texture at all it's just like a blue wall and I just didn't like it so in the end I'm going to replace the whole blue wallpaper that I used here with the mosaic tiles that we got from the get together expansion pack I think it looks so so much more detailed like that and also I've seen some pictures online of some hippie houses and some of them had really cool mosaic all around their house on the floor, at the wall, even on the roofs and everything. It looks really, really cool and like self-made. So they have like put all the mosaic themselves there. It looked a little bit messy and so on. And I really, really like that. So I wanted to, you know, recreate that here in The Sims 4 with the tiles that we have there. I hope you like it. It's very, very colorful. I really love doing this and it was so, so much fun cluttering up all, all of that stuff and uh, so on. And yeah, I... I just love it. So I used basically the blue color as like the wall color and this, um, is it a light brown? I would say like a light brown paneling as like the base paneling of some sort. So it looks like a wooden house with these mosaic decorations on it sometimes. And uh, yeah, so I used some of these red windows, for example, because I just thought it looks really cool as a contrast to the blue and some green when I used the wooden paneling. I just thought the green is a nice contrast to the more orangey looking wooden paneling. So yeah, that's why I chose these colors. 
and I used lots and lots of plants all around it, like I've already said, some roses, some vines, a little bit of messy grass and these wild flowers that we have, so it doesn't look as tended. I really wanted it to look a little bit messy with the landscaping. And in the back I will be putting like a little fireplace, no, how is it called, like a bonfire or some sort. And so your sippy sims can like sit around it and everything. And yeah, I'm, I hope you like it. It is of course up on the Sims 4 gallery. It is called Bohemian Family Home. I know it's a very creative name again, but yeah, it's basically a Bohemian Family Home. How would I just call it? I mean, you know, I'm horrible with names sometimes. And yeah, it is not furnished. If you want to furnish it yourself, of course, do so. Download it on the Sims 4 gallery. Also, the download link will be in the video description below, like always. And at the end of the video, I will put some screenshots for you so you can have a better look at it. So yeah, stay tuned. I also used for the decoration to make it much more detailed, of course, like some window boxes, for example, and like some of these shade things. I have forgotten how they're called in English that you can put over your windows. Yeah, the wines and roses. And I really love the mosaic. How is it called? The mosaic tiling on the floor that we have now with these cool flower mosaic on it and I did like some cool stuff there on the backyard veranda. It looks really, really cool so I changed like the color of the mosaic sometimes so it looks a little bit more yeah self-made I would say and a little bit more messy but controlled messy. Really, really cool. And then I used some of these lanterns that we got from the outdoor, I guess it was outdoor retreat of the patio stuff pack, I guess. And there we got the lanterns, little lanterns, so I made them bigger and they are basically the outdoor lamps. And I used, of course, some of these cool lantern lamps with the paper lanterns, looks really, really cool. And I place them all around the veranda, for example, so it looks as if they have some lanterns put there all over the place. Looks really, really cool. Very hippie, I would say. So yeah, um, I hope you like it. Please write me in the comments what you want to see next with its Spring Sims channel and maybe write him what he has to do for his Bohemian Week, for example. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. I hope you like it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.